Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with my Antique Soft Pretzel Warmer. It has an SPS logo there and it stands for Soft Pretzel Steam. This is the technical video. That is a hand-fashioned clay pretzel adorning the top on a shaft that goes straight through. Um, it's powered by a Jensen 85 uh, little steam engine that's been heavily massaged and uh, Modified by me. It's got roller ball bearings in it, and I lap the cylinder and the, the steam block uh, next to each other, and uh, so it runs really smooth. We've got a this um, brass flywheel here weighs just about the same as the original one, which was much larger. Everything is rolling through roller ball bearings. We have uh, an axle there, which is warm drive. I'll show you in here in a minute. So there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven roller ball bearings in it. Two sandwiched right here. One at the top. For the rotisserie to turn on and as you can see we have um, three tiers of uh, pretzel holder rods each set will hold four pretzels and you have 12 sets total so that's a total of 48 pretzels that this will easily hold it might actually hold five on each one if i wanted to it's got a slight bend in the end there and they're all brass uh, we've got a nice collar there that holds that onto this uh, worm drive on the bottom here. You can see that under there. Of course, we have roller ball bearings in the axle block there. So it doesn't really need oiling. Uh, the engine slightly gets oiled uh, right there at the block and uh, the connecting rod onto the, uh, the pin on the axle. That's about it, though. Everything else is pretty sealed and uh, pretty self-contained. Uh, the unit itself is 10 and a half inches tall, 11 and 7 eighths at the top of the pretzel. It's 4 and a quarter inches square, and it weighs just short of 2 pounds. Uh, we have actual real polycarbonate clear plastic all the way around, except for uh, well, all the way around. And uh, that works a lot better than plexiglass. It's a whole lot easier to work with. And uh, doesn't shatter as much, doesn't bind up when you try to cut it. So it's just a treat to work with. Let's give it a flip around and you can uh, get a 360 view of it. I really like how these came out. My plaque maker did a really good job on those. They were all custom done for me. He's good and reasonable. You see the brass pretzel holders and they're just gleaming. And this can be run by any other steam engine. All I have to do is take that belt off and uh, it can be powered by anything else as well. Which is what I, what I wanted. And I have several different drive pulleys for it. Of course, with the warm drive, I don't know what the ratio is, but it's plenty slow. Even with the uh, kind of high RPMs of this 85, it's a single acting, so it has to work a little harder and a little faster to flip over. And uh, we've got it running pretty slow. So I'm going to load it up with pretzels, and there'll be a video of that. Without me talking so much. All right, let's load it up. We've got a bunch of pretzels here to put in it. Those are real. And uh, get it going. Bye now.